it would be hard to find you know any launch of any new website that didn't have glitches uh, and you, you you've seen some both before and since that uh, big commercial players have had that have had glitches this one was played I think way out of proportion but look it it's bad the president said so it's you know um, he I think was very clear that he feels accountable for that that we wanted it to work well and it's it's disappointing and that it didn't deliver on that and frankly excruciating for me I've been gone over a year now but uh, to watch it uh, because I know they worked very hard um, it's now working well but the sad thing about the, the botched rollout of the website is that um, it obscured some of the great things that are happening as a result of the Affordable Care Act. On my dark days, I do worry that we're never going to get past it. And I've heard uh, Ron Brownstein, who I'm sure has been here at the Institute, uh, recently he and I appeared somewhere together, and he said it was unprecedented in at least modern history to have um, a law where uh, members of Congress continue to uh, deride it, try to make it fail uh, to this extent. So you keep hoping that the next year, the next election period will be the one where the fever breaks. Uh, and I guess I do hope that. The sad thing to me about uh, the website, one of the sad things is I think I thought we might be nearing that inflection point, that as it rolled out, if it was successful, uh, you'd see more uh, mainstream and moderate uh, Republicans in Congress saying, OK, let's work together. You certainly see that with governors. Look out there around the country. You see governors coming to the table, even those who say they oppose it, still working to figure out how to expand Medicaid, still working how to figure out how to make it work in their states. So I was hoping that members of Congress might do the same thing. And unfortunately, the website problems, I think, gave them a little more license to continue in this uh, mode of being uh, obstructionist. And you know, it's easy to tear down a house, and that's what they're doing right now. They're not helping us build one. Uh, I wish we had done even more to communicate it. It was really hard, though. When you consider, um, I've seen at least one study that shows, you know, $100 million spent on the other side of it within the first year of the implementation. You know, there's only so much. Uh, there was nothing for, for HHS to really get out there and sell yet. The taxpayers don't give us funding. You know, we don't have the kind of budget that where the taxpayers give us money to just go out and do a PR campaign on something that isn't quite, um, you know, being offered to the American people yet. So we got behind on that, to be sure. And you know, it's a testament to the fact that you can really scare people, because I think that's a lot of what happened.